Food is the ingredient that brings us together. Hey guys, how you doing? We're just about to head to Lizzie's Pizza. Unfortunately, I locked my car out. So uh, we had to wait for the tow truck. He's just uh, getting here now. He's going to unlock uh, the car with us. So hopefully we can show you that uh, process. And then once we're done from here, we're gonna head to Lizzie's, so stay tuned. So Maurice is here. He's going to help us get into the car. I got, as I said, I got locked out. I put uh, my stuff in the back of the car and it locked, so. Maurice is here, he's with, uh, let's see, he's with uh, Roadway, so if you guys need any help, if you need tow, or if you get locked out, hit up Roadway, here's their telephone number, you can call them out, give them a shout for uh, assistance. So how, how often do you come across these kind of stuff, like uh. people locking themselves in? <laughs> <laughs> Does it happen often, like a couple of times a day where you're going in, uh, taking people's keys outside, out um, of their car? Or? No, not so bad. It's a tough one. Now, this is uh, my first lockout for this car. Oh, yeah. I had done it uh, before in other cars, but with this one, most of the time I'm pretty cautious with it. Yeah. Today, it was pretty odd because I actually unlocked it. I put my stuff in the back seat. Mm -hmm. When I close the back seat, all of a sudden the door is locked. Oh no. Without no. beauty. Thank you very much, Maurice. He's all got right. us in. Now, keep a spare on you. Thank you. We'll definitely be trying to remember that this time. Yeah. <laughs> so this um, is what happened. I just need to find out if there's any more information we need off of you. Sure. So I put my stuff back here. I think my key is here. There you go. And it locked on me. Here outside Lizzie's Pizza, we're gonna go inside, meet the owner, check out the menu, try some of their delicious food, and let you guys know how it is. So stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. We're here with uh, Ali, he's uh, the owner, he's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, the restaurant as well as the food items that they sell here. Assalamu alaikum everybody, uh, welcome to Lizzie's Pizza. So we're mainly a pizza and kebab house restaurant, that's what we started off as, but recently we also added other options such as uh, fried chicken, we have wings and other sides like that. So, yeah. That's awesome, so um, where do you guys get the meat from? Uh, right now we have a supplier in Kokotlam, his name is uh, Shamin Halal Meats. So we get all of our chicken, our ground beef, all sorts of our meat from him. Awesome. So you mentioned uh, besides fried chicken, you guys have pizza because of the name. What else do you sell beside that? Uh, we have, So we have pizza and then we have kebab platters, we have fried chicken which is the most recent addition to the menu. Mm -hmm. And then we have sides like wings, the fries, masala fries and uh, mojos as well, so it's small size like that. Great, what, what comes in the kebab platter? Kebab platter, so you you have an option of either one skewer or two skewers, and then you can get 
you have options of chicken as well as ground beef, the shami kebab. Mm -hmm. And then each platter comes with a bed of rice, it has a side of salad, chutney, and a piece of naan as well. Awesome. Do you guys have any daily specials? Uh, we usually have a couple specials that we rotate every month. Like right now we have a deal for like two liter pop and two large pizzas and a pound of wings, I believe. So we will just switch it up, trying to give customers, you know, different things they can get in a big order of for. Awesome. And uh, what time do you guys open from? We open at uh, 2 and then we close. On weekends, we close at 11, so Friday, Saturday, we close at 11, Sunday, we close at 9, and then other days, we close at 10. Are there any delivery options? We do deliver within uh, 5 kilometers. If you're a little bit over uh, 5 kilometers, it's fine, we still deliver, but yeah, mainly it's within 5 kilometers we deliver. Awesome. Can you yeah. also tell us your website as well as your social uh, media account, so that way the... Uh viewers can follow you guys? Uh, so you can find us on our website at www.lazizpizza.com It has our menu, our deals, all of that type of stuff. And then we also have an Instagram account and a Facebook account. So you can find, uh, we're just posting social media stuff. We have our deals on there. Uh, we On this wall you can see that we actually, for Facebook, we take quotes every month from customers. And then the best quote, we choose it, we put it on the wall and you can win a free pizza at the end of the month. So these are some of the winners from this month. Awesome. Well that's great. We're going to put your social media accounts uh, at the bottom so that way the viewers can follow you guys okay, and great. hopefully they can share the, the quotes and win some free pizza. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much Ali. No we're going to try the pizza and we're going to let the viewers know how they are. Hey guys, the best part of the review is the time to try the food. So we got on one side barbecue chicken, on the other side we have uh, spicy Mexican. Uh, so here you can see the uh, barbecue chicken. We got uh, tomato, onion, uh, green and red pepper, as well as uh, barbecued pieces of chicken. It smells really good. Let's give it a try. Mm. It's really good. And you get the crunchiness from the onion as well as the veggies. I mean, that smokiness from the barbecued uh, chicken. It's really, really good. Mm. Really good. The chicken is moist. The flavor, the aroma of the chicken is not strong. And that uh, tomato sauce is sweet. It's really cheesy. The tomato sauce is a little bit like on the sour, so it's good. You get smoke, barbecue flavor, sweetness, sourness, everything in one bite. And now let's try the spicy Mexican one. So this one, I think it has ground beef, tomato, onion, mushroom, um, I think green peppers. Okay, let's give it a try. It has a little bit of a chili kick, but it's not overpowering at all, it's not too much. I thought it was going to be spicier, but it's actually just a little bit of thin. It's nice because you, you get that spiciness, you get another flavor, you get another layer of uh, flavors from that, but it's not too much where you know you get one bite and you need a jug of water. So you can keep continuing on. If you'd like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and your friends. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Through your support, I'm able to create new videos and bring you new content every week.